So we just launched Prep and Star Prime subscription, which is like 150 plus courses under one subscription. So it has courses like C, C++, Java, Python, artificial intelligence, machine learning, cybersecurity, data structures, comparative coding, even company specific courses like TCS, NQT, Infosys, TCS Digital, Amazon, etc. The link is in the description of the video. Go check that out. I'm sure that you'll love that. Hi everyone. Welcome to another video on Infosys Cryptathematic. So question and answers. So in this video, we are going to discuss around five to six questions on this cryptothematic. And this is the one of the most important model section under the Infosys. So, so many people have a doubt regarding this. So first, what I will do is I will explain the theory for five to 10 minutes. Then we will gradually solve the problems which are asked in Infosys. Okay, so let's get started. So look at the instructions you need to follow before solving any type of cryptothematic. So these are the basic rules we need to follow to solve any type of these problems so that you can easily acquire the answer rather than going for trial and error method. If you follow these rules, it will definitely help you guys in your examination. So have a look at here. What is the rules are simply I'm briefing it in a single statements, right? Just look at here. Each alphabet will have a value from zero to nine. So remember, they will give you the alphabets additions or multiplications, whatever it may be. Every alphabet need to assign either 0 or 1 or 2 like this unit digits only. You can't assign two digit value to an alphabet. So the values of all alphabets exist between 0 to 9. And look at the second one. If A is equal to 0, then B cannot have value 0. So two alphabets cannot be the same. For example, A is equal to 1, then B cannot be 1. It can be either 0, 2, 3, 4, up to 9, but it cannot be 1. For example, if B is equal to 2, C cannot 1 and cannot equal to 2 also. So this is how you need to assign the digits to the particular alphabets. So remember, 0 to 9 is the range and each alphabet need to assign for a unique digit only. So a particular value can be assigned to the at a maximum of one alphabet is given, right? Okay. Just look into the third rule. Whenever we add two similar digits, that is P plus P, the result is always even number if no carry is there or odd number if carry is there. I will explain you in a simple manner. Just look at here. For example, I am adding A and A. So just look at here guys, A plus A, if you are adding A plus A will be always 2A, right? 2A is nothing but always a even number. Why? Because we are multiplying with 2 here. So when you add two similar numbers or similar alphabets, always you will end up with the even number. For example, 3 plus 3, 6, 4 plus 4, 8, always a even number, right? For example, when you will get the odd number in the answer is nothing but if you have some carry from the preceding values. For example, 36, 36 is there, 48, 48 is there. And if you see 6 plus 6, 12, 2 or random I'm taking it is a 4. 6 plus 4, which is nothing but 10, 0 and 1. See, the carry came from the preceding value that is 6 plus 4 such that 3 plus 3 6, but adding 1 also, it will make as a 7, right? So, if you have seen two repeated alphabets and ending with an odd digit, remember, always there is a carry. And if P plus P is even, remember, always there is no carry. So, this is what you have to remember. And for example, see 8 plus 8, 16, 6 and 1. And see, 8 plus this 9 it will become 9 so here also it become odd number so remember when you add two similar numbers getting odd number means carry is there even number means carry is not and next look at here if a plus b is equal to a then value of b can be either 0 or 9 only so i will explain this statement little clear just with an example just look at here for example a plus B if you are adding and you are getting A again. There is a two possibilities for this result which is nothing but C for example A is equal to 4 and B is equal to 0. Then the result is again A. So A plus B is equal to A 
then b equal to 0 for no carry for example there is no carry on the top of a then b must be always 0 so if you don't have any carries then b value is 0 for example if we have a carry for example there is a one carry from the preceding value and a plus b again a then b must be is equal to 9 there is no other possibility why because see 1 plus 9 again 10 10 plus 4 14 so it will give you the result as again unit digit 4 so this is how you need to verify all these cases and even when you are starting the question and answers also you can easily understand how these rules can help you a lot in the following examples remember if you are adding two numbers and you are getting one of the same as a result then the other element must be either 0 or 9 depending on the carry if carry is there the value will be 9 why because 1 plus 9 it will become 10 and the digit will be replicated in the result or if carry is not there directly you have to treat it as 0 so 4 plus 0 is 4 so this is the fourth rule you need to take care of and just look into the last one you can have maximum 10 unique characters if the question have more than 10 unique characters then answer will be cannot be determined yes why because from 0 to 9 how many digits we have total 10 digit right so if you are using more than 10 digits uh, sorry more than 10 alphabets or unique characters in your question how can you assign 9 numbers by following all these rules you can't write why because every number must be assigned to a particular one alphabet only you can't share with the more than one so all these rules are very important so have a look at here and whenever i am solving the question and answers i will explain you more number of shortcuts so without further delay let's get started with our question and answers quickly and just look into the first question the first question is given as mnop plus qnon is equal to mrs ms what will be the value of mnopq just look at here for your understanding i am just writing here guys the problem is given as m n o p and adding with q n o n and the resultant answer is nothing but m r s m s so again i am enabling a technique in your brain just assume this for example if you add a two numbers you are always add digits right so for example see 999 and 999 even i am taking four digit nines so four digit maximum number i have taken if you see adding of any two digits always end up with the maximum number of 18 see here 18 one carry here 19 one carry again here 19 one carry 18 plus 1 again 19 so whenever you are adding two row numbers two numbers rows always you will get the maximum carry always one remember this maximum carry is always one if you are adding three numbers the maximum carry is always two why because assume all are nines three nines are 27 so seven will be here carry will go to the top as a 2 so whenever you are adding two line numbers which is like here you will always get the carry as 1 so even I am adding triple line and triple line I will get the carry as a 1 in, sorry carry is 1 and at the end of the number also I am getting 1 only right so this is how you can need to have the knowledge so remember whenever you are adding this type of numbers always the unit sorry the maximum significant bit so the highest position value always equal to one this is the first rule and this is the way of solving the problem so always the highest position in the result is always one why because m and q will be added and it got the carry which is m 
and m always 1. So if m is 1, so just I am recreating this equation as I am replacing m's with 1. So 1, n, o and p and q, n, o, n and if they are added, answer is 1, r, s, 1, s. So these are 1's. There is no i in it. So please try to remember these are all 1's. So I got one value which is nothing but I am writing here m is equal to 1 I got. Next, how can I get the answers? Just look at here guys. Here o plus o, n plus n become s right. But I know here o plus o is better. Why? Because o plus o is equal to 1 here. So I am giving you the best method already in the rules. So try to remember that. If you add two numbers, o plus o, the result is 1, which is an odd number. If odd number is there, the carry must be there, right? So, o will have a carry from the preceding values. That is, if you add p plus n, you are getting the carry as a 1. That's why o plus o become odd number. So, these all rules we have to remember while you are solving the problem. So, o plus o must equal to 1 means it cannot be true, right? So, O plus O, I am assuming that 5 plus 5. If I do 5 plus 5, it is 10. And I am adding the carry 1, so which is equal to 11. So, I can place 1 here and carry will go to the n value also. So, see how simply I am doing. So, I am trying to adopt the numbers. So, so why you have taken 5 instead of 0? Always remember this, you have to go for maximum number to minimum number always. So go for maximum number. If it is failing the rule or if it is failing the sum, then go for the minimum value. Always try to go for maximum numbers. So whenever you are going for trial and error method. So see 5 plus 5 10, 10 plus 1 is 11. So I can place 1 here and 1 went to here. So I am assuming that 0 value will be, sorry, O value will be 5. So let's try it. 1, sorry, I'm just, okay. N, and this value is 5, this value is P, and Q, and here, N value we need to find, and here also 5, and here also 5, sorry, 5, not 5, N value we need to find, which is nothing but N value, and carries are 1, so here also 1, here 1, R, yes, yes. So these are the values we got, two values we got. So O is equal to 5, this is an assumption. Now, if you see N plus 1 is equal to yes, I will try to go with N. So I need to go for trial and error for N now. So N, if you take 0, it must be 1, right? See, for example, if you take N is equal to 0, 0 plus 0, 0, 0 and 1, the result will be 1. So, S value will become 1. Already, M is assigned to 1, right? So, you can't go for N is equal to 0. So, N value 0 got cancelled. You can't take N value 1, right? Why? Because it's already assigned to M. And if you take 2, see, 2 plus 2, 4. 4 plus 1, 5. And if you observe, guys, one more thing I would like to tell you, the maximum value I can get here, if you take 2, you can't get the carry for the remaining number, right? So this is how you need to assume and think. So or I can say for example, if it is 2, p value must be 8. So s must be 0. And again, you can't create here 0. Why? Because 2 plus 2 is, see, I am telling you this simply. I am writing, if you didn't, if you have any confusion, just let me know in the comments and I will definitely give you the replies. Just look at here. I am explaining with the 2 again for your sake. If n is equal to 2, 2 plus 2, 4, 4 plus 1, 5, no carry, okay. If n is equal to 2 here, P must be is equal to 8, right, in order to create the two-digit number. And if you see, 
8 plus 2 is 10, which is nothing but S value 0. But here S value we are getting 5. And if you take P value 9, here S value will become 1. But here S value it is become 5. So whenever you have taken the 2, it's mismatching the S values in the first digit as well as third digit, right? So that's why a directly cancelled 2 is not a N value. Okay, next go for 3. If we go for 3, how it will happen? Just look at here. If I take 3, again 3, 3, again we got unit digit number. But here you will get 7 or 8 or 9 you can consider and you can add S value again will get differentiated, right? So for this type of problem, it's better to go with S value also not 3. Sorry, n value also not 3. So similarly, try for 4, 5 and you will definitely get the mismatch between the n and s sum. So the number which satisfies is nothing but n value is equal to 6. So if n value is equal to 6, I will substitute for example 1, 6, 5, p and q, 6, 5, 6 and 1 r s 1 s see already 5 is assigned to wo that's why 5 is not taken if you take the 4 4 plus 4 8 8 plus 1 9 so you can't take q value 9 and if you have a unit digit number here and 9 and 1 sorry 8 and 1 it will become 9 it won't give you the two digit number so all the possibilities getting easily cancelling, right? So that's why I have uh, quickly done the trial and error method for these numbers also. That's why I have not taken directly. I went for the six. Next, see five plus one, ten. So carry one is there. So here also there. So can I say now S value is three? So S value I am substituting as three. So here also it must be three and 6 plus 6 3 and carry is 1 already carry is 1 1 plus 1 uh, 2 so q value must be either 9 or 8 you can consider right so let's wait for the time being so just have a look at here p plus 6 is equal to 3 how can you get p plus 6 is equal to 3 so p plus 6 is equal to 3 i can able to say that p value must be 7 Okay, 7 also not assigned. So, n value 6, p value 7 and yes, s value will become 3. Okay, so I am again writing the solution here. Just have a look at here. 1, 6, 5, 7, q, 6, 5, 6 and addition is 1, r, 3, 1, 3. And if you observe, you have to have a carries here, right? So 1 plus 1, 2. So in order to get the two digit number, P value must be either 9 or 8, right? So if I take 9, 9 plus 2 is how much? 9 plus 2 is 11. So 11 means R value also 1, right? But it cannot possible already 1 is assigned to M. So R value must be not equal to 1. So I am not taking 8, so, sorry, I am not taking 9. I have a one possibility that Q value is equal to 8. If Q is equal to 8, 2 plus 8, 0. So R value is 0, 1, 0. So R value is 0. So all the digits we got and all the corresponding proof also completed. So just look into the numbers, M is 1 n is nothing but 6, o is nothing but 5, p is nothing but 7 and q is nothing but 8, 15, 20, 27. So if you add all of the numbers, the sum of the numbers is given as 27. So this is how you need to go for step by step process and you can complete the answer by using trial and error method but you need to aware of this list. So 
try to watch the video again so that you can easily understand if you have any doubts you can comment in the below of this video we'll definitely reach you guys to clear your doubts and just look into the next problem and before going to start the next problem i would like to tell you this guys top three commenters on this video to definitely get the free access to our newly launched prepinsta prime so try to comment below of this video if you have any doubts or if you have any queries or suggestions or feedback or if you are one of the top three commenters we will pick you guys and we will give you the prepinsta prime for free access and this is a placement season and you guys know a lot of companies hiring and if you want to get the all the notification relate to your year of passing out for example if you are a 2023 you need to see 2023 hiring process right you don't have to see multiple hirings of other years so that's why we have created prepinsta instagram pages like prepinsta 2023 for only 2023 batch passed outs and 2024 2022 and 2021 like this so you will get year specific notifications for particularly for your batch so you don't have to mess up with the other notifications right so always try to reach to our instagram handle to get the proper notifications and we will go to the live in the youtube as well and for the different companies question and answers so to get all the information quickly go for the instagram handle and if you want to reach us to clear your doubts and to solve your problems of different types like quant reasoning any coding sections you will always reach us through whatsapp discord and linkedin and telegram will always here to help you guys and just look into the just look into the next question try to pause the video and try to solve it on your own first so we have seen the rules and we have seen one problem so try to give a trial on it and post your comments in the video and we will pick the top three commenters as well so later on it i will explain it the question is given as eat plus that apple so this is the answer we got apple so just look at here guys i told you already whenever you have a two line addition always the most significant bit if fifth digit was created it will always be equal to 1 right so here a value is always equal to 1 see here a is equal to 1 but if you see t and t is added a and a is added e and h is added so in order to create a two digit number t cannot be two digit number right so here t some number you have to add and it will get ap value right so this t is created the last two digits of the result and if you know clearly a value is already one and we need to create p see guys how much you will always get the carry from the preceding values for example e and h's were added and you will always get the carry as one only so one plus t is equal to one p so what is the t value t value at max at the max you can take t value as 9 so 9 plus 1 is 10 so this is the only possible way you can create a two digit number from single digit number right so here we can simply say p is equal to 0 which is nothing but 10 is the result and carry 1 is there so how much we need to add to get the 10 so t value is equal to 9 so whenever the problem having one digit convert into two digits remember the value must be always 9 90 percent of the cases the value must be 9 so just carefully observe here e it is here and for your sake i am writing again t h a t and the result is a p p l e so t was created these two digits right so t must be maximum 9 and we got the carry 1 so that's why we created two digit number that is 10 you can't create 11 why because a and p two different alphabets right and even you can't reach the 11 even if you take t value 10 it become two digit number again it's wrong 
So this is all the possible cases we have and only unique answer we have that is a value 1, p value 0, t value 9. So please substitute the corresponding values and we how we will get the answer. E value we need to find, A value is 1, T value is 9 and that is nothing but T value is 9 and H value we need to find, A value is 1, T value is 9. So 9 plus 9, 8 right, so 18 means 8, so the carry is 1. So here if you see in the unit digit we have E right, so E you can replace with 8, so E value is 8 simply. Next, 1 plus 1 plus 1, 3 ones are 3. So, L value is equal to 3. So, I am writing here, L is equal to 3 and E is equal to 8 we got and all are unique we are getting. So, our approach little correct. And T value we written, APP right, APP value is nothing but 100 0, 0, right, why because A value 1, P value is 0. So, all alphabets got obtained except H. So, remember here guys, we need to carry one right, we need to get the carry one from 8 plus h and the digits must be 0 also. So 8 plus h is equal to it must be 1 0 10. So h value must be equal to 2. So some kind of easy problem if you reach two words from the MSB most significant bit or highest values. Remember. You always need to start the problem from left to right so that you can easily decode the values of each and every alphabet. So, ABPLE values how much? A value is 1, P value is 0, L value is 3 and E value is 8. So, answer is 9 plus 2, 12. So, option C is correct. So, sum of the, all the digits is simply 12. So, just look into the next problem. So try to pause the video and try to solve it on your own first so that you can easily understand how to do these type of problems. Okay, I hope everyone done well. So just look into the explanation how we can do it. Loop plus POL is equal to OSXO. What is the value of OSXO? So just look at here guys. Here L O O P plus P O L addition you have to take and you will get got the answer as 0 sorry O S X O. So 0 I will write like this and O I will write like this so that you can easily differentiate right. So 0 I will write like this with a some hyphen in between. So that remember this is as a 0 and this is as a O alphabet and this is a digit. Why because we may use zeros why because we have seen lot of o's also so if we have zeros values you will get confused so let's start doing this problem l got only one digit number right so you can't treat it as l is equal to 9 or something why because if you got carry from other and l will become two digits so here they have clearly given 4 digit plus 3 digit sum as a 4 digit. So you can't take it. Then how can I find the answer? Yes. If you see O is here, O is here. Guys, if no carry was there in the end point, for example at L, if no carry is there, the final result also must be L, right? But here L becomes 0, sorry O. L become O means I can say some carry was there from O plus P, so that's why L become O. So I can say from here, L plus 1 is equal to O, and also they have given P plus L is equal to also O, P plus L also is equal to O. So from these two equations, I can say one thing that L, L got cancelled, P is nothing but 1. So P value is equal to 1 according to the this logical approach between these two equations. So I am taking the p-value as 1. So I will start doing the problem. So just look at here. L, O, O, 1 and 1, O, L. Addition become O, S, X, O. So here we got only p-value, right? Next, 
if you observe o is having more number of frequencies here right so i am going with o value is equal to 9 so always i told you already start with the maximum number maximum unit digit number to solve these type of any script arithmetic problems so i am taking o value as a 9 so just look at here what will happen it's a trial and error method not the exact answer so o l 9 9 1 and 1 9 l the answer is 9 s x 9 Let's see. Nine plus nine is eighteen. So here it is eight, and here carry one. Ten plus one eleven. So again, yes value we are getting one and carry here one. So if you observe, guys, nine plus one ten, ten plus carry one is eleven. We are getting s value also one, right? But already one is assigned to p. You can't take s value one, right? So my assumption from O is equal to nine is wrong. So let's try for O is equal to eight. So I am trying here. O is equal to eight. So L eight eight one and here one O is eight. L value we need to find here, guys. <coughs> we'll always need to do trial and error method to get these type of easy answers. Why? Because Majority of the problem, O is at five places. So if you get one number correct, you can solve the problem easily. So that's why if the digits are same, we have to go for the unique steps. But if the digits are maximum equal, you can go with the trial and error method. It will get the easy answers. See, eight plus eight is six, so which is nothing but sixteen. So x value is eight and carry one. One plus one two two plus eight is ten. So zero one, and you know, O value is eight, right? So here also we need to get eight. So eight s x even s value we got zero and x value got six. So it is not same as any other digits. So we are getting a unique digit assignment, right? So that's why I went for trial and error for this type of problems. Next the digit is here also eight. So see. L plus one is eight here, and also here L plus one is equal to eight. So L must be is equal to seven, and zero is equal to eight is perfectly matched. And if you see, yes, we got zero, and x we got as six. So by using trial and error method for the zero is equal, sorry, o is equal to eight, we got the answer. So always try to solve from bottom to top approach, like from nine to one, so that you will get the easy answers. So Finally, I can conclude the answer. O value is eight, so eight plus s value is nothing but zero plus, and x value is nothing but six plus, and o value is again eight. Eight plus eight, sixteen. Sixteen plus six, twenty-two. So the sum of the alphabets which is assigned to a unique digit, the sum is twenty-two simply. So this is how you need to practice a more number of questions. to solve these type of problems guys okay so just look into the next problem try to pause the video and try to solve it on your own first and then we will look into the explanation part how we can do this problem in a procedure oriented method of the crypt arithmetic so just look into the explanation of this particular question send plus More is equal to money. What is the value of M O N E Y money? So just look at here, guys. S C N D plus M O R E. If you add these two, you are getting M O N E Y. Right. So we always know that if you add four digit number, four digit number, if you are obtaining a five digit number. the most significant digit that is on the most left hand side most number or digit is always one right so i can directly say m value is equal to 1 if m value is equal to 1 how can i create 
yes so always remember that in order to create a two digit number from this always m s value must be 9 in 90% of the cases i told you it is 9 right and if case we got the carry from the preceding value s value must be 8 so these are the two possible cases so from 1 to s plus 1 for example s plus 1 in order to create a two digit number s must be either 9 or 8 based on the carry from the preceding one so here i am assuming that s value is as a maximum value as a 9 so first i will go for this trial and error method if i got the wrong answer then i will switch s to 8 and i will complete the remaining proceedings so let's start doing this i'm just erasing the screen again so s value i am starting from 9 so if s equal to 9 and m value is equal to 1 then m value is 1 and o value will be 9 plus 1 0 so there is no carry actually if carry was there it will become 11 o cannot be 11 sorry o cannot be 1 again why because it's already assigned to m so according to the statement o is equal to 0 and s is equal to 9 this is the trial and error method so we have obtained this three digits already so we always need to focus on this and and more right so i will go with trial and error method for these combinations if i didn't get any answer i will go with the s is equal to 8 again so let's start with this e n d 0 r e sum must be n e y so this is the Uh, letters we have left with so please focus on these letters so that you will get easy answers right so just look at here here you can see how many alphabets is most repeated number is nothing but e right so here i am trying to go for e value and see guys here it is zero right it's not o so e plus o zero is nothing but n so can i say n is equal to e plus 1 why because e is converted to n by adding 0 it's not possible so it must be there is a carry for e so n is equal to e plus 1 so if you know n value you can also directly put n value if you know e value you can put n value also so i will go with again trial and error method for this second combination so just look at here n is equal to 2 if n is equal to sorry here e is equal to 2 so i will go for e combinations if e is equal to 2 2 3 d and here 0 so i am writing o means it's always 0 it's not a o o is not any more o is replaced by zeros remember this and r is nothing but we have to find and e is we assumed as 2 and n is nothing but 3 and 2 y just look at here guys in order to get the carry 1 3 plus r is equal to 2 right or d plus 2 is equal to y so how can we make this possible so see 3 become 2 already s is taken as 9 you can't take it as 9 right so you have to take it as 8 8 plus 3 is 11 so i am uh, saying that there may be a carry for example there might be carry so 8 plus 1 9 9 plus 3 is 12 exactly matched so here we got the carry one but if you observe you know to get the carry how much i need to add to 2 i can add 9 or 8 right maximum maximum i can say d value is 9 or 8 so already 9 taken if i take 8 8 plus 2 is 10 10 means y value is 0 but 0 is already assigned to o so if i assume e value is equal to 2 all the combinations getting not possible one dis one alphabet is getting two same number digits so 2 is not correct let's try for 3 if 3 then n value will be 4 and d is here and 0 is here and r value we need to find e value must be 3 and it is 4 it is 3 and it is y so if you observe how we can create 4 2 3 
which is nothing but i can create this value as 8 8 plus 4 is sorry 9 only possibility is 9 right if you observe clearly 4 become 3 means you have to add 9 or if you add 8 and you need to get the carry 1 from the here and in order to get the carry how much i need to add to here 8 or 9 or 7 you need to add so 7 plus 3 11 again you are getting 1 here in place of y why because 8 and 9 you can't take so 7 plus 3 10 again you are getting 0 so 0 is not possible 8 plus 3 is 11 1 plus 1 here again 1 is also not possible 1 and 0 are assigned so e is equal to 3 also got cancelled similarly e is equal to 4 also will get cancelled but why because if you take 4 it will automatically give you the unit digit as 1 again it will got spoiled so same procedure as 2 and 3 4 also got eliminated directly i am taking n is equal to 5 whether this will help our solution or not let's see 5 is the e value and n is 6 value and d we need to find and 0 and here r and here 5 and 6 5 y so let's go for the remaining numbers and again i am saying here i am doing for unique digit assignment so for every alphabet i need to assign a unique digit not same digit for a sing two alphabets so 5 plus 4 6 how can i get 6 plus r is equal to 5 so i need to have a carry definitely one why because you can't take the 9 so i am taking r value 8 so 8 plus 6 is 14 14 plus 1 is 15 so 15 1 so i got e value is 5 n value is equal to 6 and r value is equal to 8 so d plus 5 is equal to y and we need to get the carry 1 right so how can we get y value is equal to 2 in this uh, money which is nothing but if you observe you need to get the two digit number two digit number means d must be more than 5 am i right or not for example if i take 5 5 plus 5 it cannot be possible 5 is already assigned to e so 6 is already assigned to n you can't take n value 6 value so try to take the 7 why because 8 is already assigned 9 is also assigned so if i take d value 7 7 plus 5 2 2 is not assigned to any number so y value is exactly 2 is perfect and unit is uh, carry 1 is came so d value is equal to 7 and y value is equal to 2 so all possible values we got here according to our trial and error method so remember always you need to go for these advanced level problems through trial and error method only for particular combinations and only ideology you need to keep in your brain that we need not to get any common values for the alphabets so here m value is 1 o value is 0 only n value is equal to 6 and e value is equal to 5 and y value is equal to 2 so 6 plus 6 12 12 plus 2 14 so the money total value is 14 so this is how you have to solve this type of cryptothematic and if you have any doubts in your brain you can ask me in the chat we are always here to help you guys okay just look into the next problem again i am saying the same thing try to pause the video and try to solve it on your own first and then we will look into the explanation part okay just look into the problem mnop plus rst is equal to uvxw what is the value of op uvw so whenever you have this type of problems guys i have intentionally given this problem whenever you have seen none of these option even if you didn't see cannot determine or not i don't bother about but if you see none of these options in the script automatic first step you need to do is whether the given alphabets are less than r is equal to 10 alphabets or not if you observe m n o p four alphabets r s t three alphabets u v x w four alphabets if you observe 4 plus 3 7 7 plus 4 is 11 alphabets but we have only 10 digits to assign so we have 10 digits and we have a 10 alphabets definitely you can't find the answer 
so answer is cannot be determined if in the options cannot be determined is not given then you have to go for the none of these options why because cannot determine option is not given in the above options so remember when you have none option or none of these option in the options see for example in the previous problem you have four options with a numerical values but in this if you have a none of these means first you need to count the number of alphabets they have given if it is less than or is equal to 10 then you can start the problem or else you don't have to do you can directly put the answer as none of this or if they have given cannot be determined cannot be determined is your answer so just look into the next problem nine is equal to again minus sing so whenever you have these type of subtractions don't get confused yourself just move this minus sing to the others it will become positive so nine a plus sing sum is in nothing but again right so this is the problem you need to do this just look at here guys we always know the end digit is always on the left hand side is one so a value is equal to one this is where we can get the easy answers so n i n one and s i n g sum will be one g one i n so if you observe here we got some logic behind the i values and n values see n plus n is equal to i i plus i is equal to 1 so if you observe guys according to our rules if two digits are added two times sorry if a digit if a alphabet is added for two times and if you are getting odd output then i value must be either 0 or 5 which is nothing but the carry was there and i must be either 0 or 5 so there is a carry here and in order to get the carry see n value also must be either is equal to 0 or 5 why because see 2n is equal to i which is nothing but if i is equal to 0 or 5 then 2n also is equal to 0 or 5 which is an odd number so n also must be equal to either 0 or 5 and if you observe I got the carry in order to get the carry n value must be more than 5 right why because when you will get the carry of adding two numbers n plus n must be more than 10 right so n plus n must be more than 5 right but here we are getting this 0 so I am going with trial and error method for example if I take i value is equal to 5 definitely it won't give you the answer why because if you take i value is 5 5 plus 5 10 10 plus 1 is 11 so n value you need to take it as a 0 so it will waste you a lot of time so remember in order to avoid these type of confusion simply i am going with simply i value is equal to 0 see why i am taking again i is equal to 0 i will tell you the unit digit here is 1 and we need to definitely carry 1 why because in order to get the 1 the carry must be 1 and i value must be 0 comma 0 see 1 plus 0 plus 0 again 1 but we didn't get carry here so n plus s equal to 1 g we will find it so i value i have considered as 0 and let's do the trial and error method and if i value is 0 see n plus n is equal to 0 guys n plus n is equal to 0 is not possible why because already i is equal to 0 n plus n is equal to 0 is not possible so n value must be 5 5 plus 5 is 10 so that's why carry got 1 so exactly i am making some sense that if n is equal to 5 and i is equal to 0 combinations i will get the answer so 5 0 5 1 and yes so i need to find and i value is 0 5 g value we need to find and 1 g 1 0 5 so just look at here 5 plus 5 is 10 0 1 0 plus 0 1 so 1 1 plus g is equal to 5 means g value is equal to 4 if g is value equal to 4 how 5 will become 14 
yes must be nine right so simple way of approach it's a some kind of easy problem by using some basic rules you immediately got the answer two digits are equal to 11 means they must be equal to either zero or five i'll try with zero and i got the answer so s value here is nine i value is nothing but zero n value is nothing but five g value is nothing but four so answer is nine plus nine eighteen so this is how you need to do these type of problems whenever you start practicing and getting the answers you can quickly solve these type of problems so that's it guys this is the end of the video and please try to comment on this video on top three commenters we will pick and we will try to give the prepinsta prime access for them and i will let you know what is the prepinsta prime and what you will get under the prepinsta prime clearly just look at here this is our prepinsta prime website and you can able to complete a lot of courses under a single subscription if you are preparing for any placement preparation you can visit here and you can prepare anything in a single website that is like artificial intelligence cyber security ethical hacking cloud computing and big data and lot of popular skills were there and popular language like c c plus plus java python you can learn all these courses under the single subscription as well as basic coding intermediate coding competitive coding data structures in different languages like c c plus plus java python and if you want to clear any written test the mandatory sections are quantity aptitude logical ability reasoning ability and verbal ability and everything and visual and if you see we have included crypto arithmetic as well for the infosys especially and gamified aptitude all these courses you can come here and you can easily learn and if you observe we have a company specific interview preparations as well and if you observe we have a company specific preparation courses as well for example you can see all the different companies you can prepare from here only like infosys infiniq infosys sc sdsc all these courses available here and if you want to prepare for platform specific you can prepare for platform specific as well and if you want to build your resume or if you want to know about the interview experiences all the courses are available here so we'll always provide the best content for the people so you can check it out our website and you can get it and if you want to get the certifications of tcs ion remote internship as well as our prepinsta nano degree certificate you can able to get it for these prices on the screen you are showing for three months it is three triple nine for six months it is four triple nine for 12 months it is five triple nine from 12 months core package from the package onwards we will provide you the uh, tcs and remote internship certificate with cocube test access so all these 18 months is four six four double nine and 24 months it is six double triple nine 36 months it is seven four double nine and 48 months it is seven triple nine so these prices may increase soon so this is a good opportunity to get you all these courses under a single subscription and try to comment here so that top three commenters you will get free access to this prepinsta prime website so that you can able to grab this opportunity right and i would like to tell you the last but not least thing that is a lot of companies are hiring soon 30 plus companies so i'll always suggest guys information is the first thing you need to need to get the information which company is hiring or not based on that you can apply for it right so if you are a 2023 bus road batch or a 2024 or 2022 whatever it may be we have a year specific instagram handles so that you will directly get the information regarding your passed out batch for example tc is hiring 2023 and infosys is hiring 2023 so all this information we already shared for in the 2023 instagram page that is prepinsta 2023 instagram page so you don't have to search for every company requirements you can directly get the information which is particular to year specific and if you want to reach us to clear your doubts we have a cool community in discord and whatsapp and linkedin and telegram you can join there and you can ask your doubts and you can get the clearance of all your queries thank you so much this is the end of the session see you soon bye bye